Founder of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, Fulani Kwajafa, told the BBC recently he feels sad and guilty the unit he formed 28 years ago to tackle a wave of armed robbery, kidnapping, rapes, among other crimes, had itself turned into banditry. Officers of the anti-robbery unit over the years have been accused of robbery, extortion, torture and even extrajudicial killings of Nigerian citizens. According to Amnesty International, it had documented at least 82 cases of torture, ill-treatment and murder between January 2017 and May 2020. Tired of these, the youth of Nigeria started protests. But this year's has been the most radical. It is traced to a tweet on 3rd October narrating how SARS officers shot dead a young boy at Ugeli Delta State and abandoned him on the road. The tweet got more than 10,000 retweets. Thousands, including Nigerian celebrities, poured onto the streets of Africa's most populous country demanding justice. They, they come with all sorts of stories about reform, what they're allowed and what they're not allowed to do. But it's about time to completely abolish SARS. And that's why we're here. And we just got, we got to support the movement. Yeah! And SARS! In response, the Nigerian government announced the disbandment of the squad much to a short-lived jubilation as the disbanded squad was to be reformed into another unit. The protest intensified. An indefinite 24-hour curfew was imposed on Lagos and other regions. However, videos on social media show the military opening live fire into the crowd of defying protesters at Lekki Toll Plaza last night. My own friends have been kidnapped by stars and taken to the cash point of the ATM to take money so that they can be released. Based on what crime is stupid, it doesn't make any sense. Why are we having police on the road that are meant to protect us, but they're the ones giving us anguish and grief? You understand? So the system is not working and we know that our leaders know they've just been keeping quiet about it. And you keep keeping quiet about it and there's going to be a revolution. We have to fight because your oppressors are not going to willingly stop oppressing you. You have to fight them. Twelve persons have so far been reported dead, but authorities there have denied such reports.